No. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at what's going on outside. It's 551 and grabbing my remote here where we start off the morning with cloud cover. So that cloud cover is still pretty dense as we kick off the day. Uh, it's not too low down to the ground though, and that means that we're not encountering much fog. We're going to see those clouds lift and pull back hour by hour. Temperatures are going to start to rise to the 70s, mid 70s by the time we get into the afternoon. Uh, we'll also see those clouds break apart, get more sunshine on hand. Marine layer will pull back by the time we get to 9, 10 a.m. or so hugging the coastline within about a mile of it and then completely dissipating and then reappearing late tonight into early tomorrow. Ridge of high pressure is going to nudge slightly to the north and that's going to help to bring our temperatures up just a hair between now and the upcoming weekend now on Saturday or so, but then very quickly on its heels is this trough of low pressure into next week. It's going to sink down south and that's going to help contribute to a cooling trend that we'll see. Forecast eyes, 70s for the coastal community, 75 for Carlsbad, 75 for San Diego. You start to move inland and we see those temperatures climb into the 80s. 81 for Escondido, 80 for Poway, 82 for El Cajon, but I'd say the low 80s are a welcome sight compared to the 90s that we ran into earlier this week. Uh, across the eight day forecast, we don't see much of a change in terms of your afternoon high temperatures. We'll get a bit of warming, maybe a degree or two into the upcoming weekend and then uh, more cooling into next week, you'll notice that cooling a bit more inland where we go from 80 and 81 down to about 73 by Tuesday. Mountains and deserts also plenty of sunshine out there warming into the weekend and then cooling next week. Now back to you.